hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition i'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then i'm gonna press ctrl y to create one solid background layer i am going to call it as bg and hit ok and let's lock this layer now i'm going to select my ellipse and i'll delete the stroke we don't want that the only thing i want over here is fill and for the fill i'm going to choose this bluish color and simply hit ok then by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this shape hit enter and let's call it as main and hit ok press p for position and let's bring this downwards and then create one keyframe at position then go to around one second i'm gonna go in my align tab i'll choose align it vertically and align horizontally so we'll get something like this then select this um, keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this then after this i'll go somewhere around over here i'll select this layer and i'll convert this layer into 3d press s for scaling option and initial scale i am going to choose 40 uh, and create one keyframe at s then press r for rotation and we need to rotate it on y axis maybe yeah so we will create one keyframe at y and hit u and let's go to around two seconds and scale i am going to choose 90 or let's say 80 uh, let's say 70 i think 70 look, would be good and then a rotation i am going to choose minus 180 so if you see we will get something like this okay so this is for this now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and select this and move move this handle over here so if i see this animation i'll get this then i'll get this okay so let's go to the start and let's bring this position a little bit downwards so first this and then uh, we will get this like this then let's decrease the scale to 50 maybe i think 50 looks good now select this layer and convert this layer into 3d i mean no not 3d but enable this motion blur and let's see this animation first i'll get this and then this now at this point i am going to select this main and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer select this and let's increase the duration of this layer now select this and hit u so we can see the keyframes and now i'm going to delete all the keyframes for this one i'm going to select this one hit enter and let's call it as park and hit ok and also change the y rotation and let's de delete this 3d stuff create one keyframe at s press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 30 like this now create one keyframe at opacity also now select this and hit u let's go somewhere around three seconds maybe and let's increase the scale totally up to this and let's decrease the opacity now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this so uh, we will get this kind of pop-up and zoom in a little bit let's go and move this a little bit over here like this now select this layer and hit ctrl d select this park go to the last keyframe and we will increase the size a little more select this hit u and select those keyframes and we will move them up to like this so if i see i'll get this kind of pop-up so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this then i'll get this 
ok so now uh, we need to create some extra elements so for that i am going to select my ellipse and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse over here now select this press ctrl alt home hit ctrl d to duplicate it and simply move this over here again hit ctrl d and basically we are going to create some random sparks like this sorry and let's move this over here okay select the i think we need to adjust the size also so i'll select this i'll press s i'll increase the size select this press s decrease the size uh, so basically we are adjusting their respective sizes it's totally up to you you can adjust the size the way you want i'm going to choose some randomized sizes so as you guys can see this both are like this so we will delete that i'm going to select this i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring this at the top and i'll move this over here then i'll hit ctrl d and then i'll move this over here press s and decrease the size okay so i think this much size is enough so let's go to the start select all of them and press p for position we will create one keyframe over here then we'll go to around one second and we will create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring down their respective positions downwards select this keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this let's go to the start and let's bring this scale downwards then uh, we will hit page down button one time alt no, sorry uh, alt close bracket uh, right click go to the keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok and let's increase the duration of it okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this and then uh, when this going to touch this ground i'm going to select all of them and i'll create one keyframe at position over here then i'll go to around three seconds and now we need to remove them out of this composition so zoom in let's move this over here it will automatically create keyframe it should uh, zoom in okay change the position and move this over here select this one zoom in bring this downward you can adjust the position with the help of position properties also select this one try to adjust the position like this select this one move this over here select this one move this out of this composition select them then select this then select this then i think this is remaining over here sorry okay so let's make this fit and let's see you will get something like this now let's select those keyframes only those keyframes and let's try to hit f9 and let's see if i see this animation from the start i'll get this then this but over here i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this okay now select all of them go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to search for wiggle position effect so now along with this animation we will get some wiggle animation also so select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will name it as park and hit ok simply go inside this select all of them and enable their motion blur also okay so if i see i'll get this animation then this animation now i want a little bit depth of field over here so for that what we can do i'll go inside this part i'll select any one of them i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for blur and i'll apply gaussian blur and increase the blurriness value to 20 then select this blurry hit ctrl c select anyone and hit ctrl v select this one let's say hit ctrl v this one hit ctrl v and for some uh, we will increase that blurriness 
uh, let's not too much let's choose 25 let's say okay so if i see i'll get something like this yep this much looks good so now if i see this in main animation comp i'll get this something like this okay after that i'm going to select this park right click go to the reveal and reveal layer in source project select this park and hit ctrl d double click to open this hit u go to the start and we will delete this position keyframes for this part 2 okay we will use that later but now we have to focus on this portion so let's do one thing press ctrl y to create one solid background and this time i'm going to change the color of this one to this purpley bluish or let's say bluish and hit ok and hit ok and simply move this over here like this select this purple blue i'm going to go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for radial wipe effect and simply double click to apply and uh, if you increase the value as you guys can see you will get something like this so let's go to the start and create one keyframe at transition completion and hit u go to three second and let's make this 100 okay so you will get something like this but this is not how we want so let's select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor and select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so we'll get something like this and we will bring this thing at the back now i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d and for this one i'll press ctrl shift y and this time i'm going to choose white color okay and then select this blue and try to move this over here so if you see you will get something like this but let's do move this over here like this now select this royal purple blue hit ctrl d select this seventh layer press ctrl shift y and this time i'm going to change this color to this purple one and hit ok now select this purple one hit u select those keyframes and let's move them a little bit over here so select all of them and hit u so we can see the keyframes line wise like this okay so if you see you will get uh, this kind of animation over here now after that select this hit ctrl d select this last layer uh, press ctrl shift y and change the color to this bluish and hit ok hit u hit u select those keyframes and let's move them over here and at this point over here i am going to select this layer i am going to copy this radial wipe effect and i am going to select this ellipse and i'll hit ctrl v over here so i'll get one for this also and now we will bring our text so i'm going to bring my text tool and i'm going to type my text i'll type creative select this text let's delete the fill we will choose fill uh, i mean delete the stroke and we will choose fill and try to adjust this text at the center select this and let's move this over here go to the animate and choose opacity and let's decrease the opacity create one keyframe at start go to somewhere around over here and let's make this 100 select those keyframes and uh, sorry uh, let's make this active camera select those let's make this 100 select those keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this over here and this over here okay so we'll get something like this now select this uh, text and go to the character and we are going to choose this color let's say or something like this then select those color code uh, i'll hit ctrl c hit ok select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll move this over here select this second layer delete this fill and i'm going to choose stroke and for the stroke we'll paste this paste that color code now select this stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose one pixels so first i'll get text and then i'll get this then i'm going to select this text layer and i'll hit ctrl d select this press s and increase the size and stroke width i'm going to choose 0.2 I mean point 0.1 and press V and let's bring this over here then go to the start and bring this text layer over here 
press P for position and let's bring this over here create one keyframe then go somewhere around to seven seconds and move this from here to here so if you see you will get this kind of text animation over here also and let's move this over here like this and we will bring this somewhere around over here so if i see i'll get something like this let's move this a little bit over here press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity also okay so i want text animation should start from this point so i'll move this over here like this and then uh, i'm going to hit ctrl 0 and i'll bring my spark to comp and i'll move this over here and i want they should start animate over here like this okay so this is how you will get this text reveal and then i'm going to select the second layer i'll make it apparent with this first one then i'll select this layer i'll press s create one keyframe go to around seven seconds and let's make this one one zero and hit n so if you see this from the start first we will get this and then we will get something like this okay and now uh, let's go to the start i'm going to select this main right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss uh, go to the bevel emboss and let's increase the size totally up to like this and also increase the softness and for the shadow uh, color instead of black i'm going to choose something like this and let's decrease the opacity a little bit so we'll get something like this and now uh, we will select this main i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect and let's uh, increase the distance to 25 increase the softness to 100 decrease the opacity to 20 and color choose like bluish color like this so if you see we will get this kind of stuff and then uh, if you want then you can choose this layer style and hit ctrl c you can select this text and hit ctrl v to paste that also okay hit uh, u and then uh, you will get this kind of results in adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned